Hello, welcome to this set of video notes. What we're going to look at today is creating a new web app, and that web app will, um, uh, sorry, it's going to be launched here on Microsoft Azure. Okay, and we'll uh, uh, we'll just do a, a blank one to show how we can do this. Okay, so I'm going to start off by clicking the new button up here on the right, or the top left, and come down now to web and mobile. Okay, and you can see there the uh, type of applications we can launch. Again, if you click see all, uh, we can see various uh, ones that are pre-installed on Azure. Uh, the one we're going to look at today here is a web app and SQL. Uh, and I'm just going to click create here to get us started. Okay, so it's asking me for a name of the app. And again, it's going to be uh, whatever name I select. It's going to be that name dot azurewebsites.net. Uh, so I'll just type in Damien K. Okay, again, if I get the green check here, uh, it means there that that is available to me. My subscription is the Dublin Business School. The resource group, use existing. Okay, and when you drop down, you can see lecturers and students. Okay, so again, I'll click on lecturers. Uh, again, the app service plan location here, you can use the defaults here that are set. Uh, don't worry too much about that. SQL database. Okay, when you click on that, uh, it will load up uh, all the databases that have been created uh, uh, for you. Again, you can see there uh, uh, students have created databases. There's one uh, that I've created earlier, uh, Dame Kettle DB. Okay, again, uh, I'm going to create a new database here just to show you how it's done. And again, I'm going to call this uh, Damien K. Uh, DB. Okay, again, I get the green check. I'm going to go for the standard pricing. Okay, uh, West Europe. Okay, I can uh, accept all the defaults here in this. Uh, and I'll click select. Okay, again, uh, you can see there I've got the the SQL database Damien KDB, and I got to give it a username and password. Again, you can choose your own one here. Uh, Okay, and again, I want to pin this to the dashboard, and I'm going to click Create. Okay, uh, I'll just let that uh, uh, create. Again, you can see it deploying here. I'll just say that it's deploying here. Uh, so we'll just let that run for a second. Okay, you can see now that once uh, the app has now finished installing or deploying, uh, you can see here it's up and running. If I want to see some information on it, I'll just left click on it and open that up. Okay, and you can see there uh, under the overview, it's giving me information. Again, here is the actual uh, site itself. Okay, I can click on that URL. It will just open up a separate tab there. Uh, you'll see a default page coming up. Uh, let's just have a look at this. Uh, just give it a second to load. Okay, and you can see here, here the web app has been successfully uploaded and installed. And this is just a default page. I'll show you how we'll get to this uh, through FTP in just a second. Okay, so back here you can see here I have more information. I have FTP information. Um, and stuff like that. Again, I can click on any of the uh, 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 the headings here on the left to get the information here on the right. So, for instance, Quick Start will give me some information um, about various things: PHP, uh, ASP.NET, uh, deployment credentials. Okay. Uh, again, uh, there's an FTP username there. Okay, uh, and deployment options. Okay, so I've got a, a lot of stuff here I can look at. Okay, uh, there. Okay, what I'm going to do is, um, okay, let me just go back here to overview. Okay, and there's one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to download uh, the credentials here. So if I click on more here and get published profile. Okay, you can see here I'm getting published profile here. Just I'll download it to my download settings. You can see Damien K published settings. I'll save that file and I'm going to open it up in Notepad. Okay, uh, so again, when I go to click it, uh, okay, I don't want to use that. Okay, I mean, bear in mind. 
Okay, so here I am now opened up in Notepad++ with these published settings. I'm going to just change the settings here, or sorry, the language to XML. And I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to pause this video and tidy this up for a second. Okay so. okay, so here we are now. I've just tried to tidy it up a bit there between the default connection strings and what have you. But what I'm looking for here is the publish profile and the method using FTP. So you can see here I have a URL. I have a username and password. And this is all I need to get into uh, or to use FTP. Now, the FTP program I'm going to use is called uh, is called FileZilla. Okay, so first of all, I'll copy the URL here and I'll just open up FileZilla. So this is what FileZilla looks like, and I'm going to add a new site. I'll call this uh, uh, Azure, and here. I'll pop in the URL. Okay, again, uh, so let's uh, just try and look at it here. So you can see here the URL. Again, it's going to run on port 21. Um, I go, I'm not going to use, uh, I'm just going to use plain text. I know it's insecure, but we'll do that. And I'm going to set the login type as normal. So if I use normal here, and you need, need a username and password. So let's go back to my published settings here. Okay, so I can see here the username and password. So there's the username. I'll copy that. Copy exactly as it is in the um, in uh, uh, in your publisher profile. You know your published settings. Okay, and my password again. Here, let me get back here. And you can see here you've got this big password here. I'm just going to copy that. Okay, and. I'll paste this directly in. Okay, and now I'm just going to click Connect. Okay, I'll say OK to trust the certificate. Okay, and you can see here uh, on the right-hand side, the uh, I've got the site, okay, log files. This is what I see on the server. And on this side, this is what I see on my own PC. Okay, so inside of site, you can see there's the web root or www root. Okay, and inside of that, I can see hosting start.html. Uh, that's this page I was looking at earlier on. Uh, just let me bring it up. This is the page here, the default page that was set earlier on. Okay, so let's go back to FTP. Let's uh, uh, edit this file. Okay, I edit, and again, I've set my editor here to being Notepad++. Okay, I'll set the language to HTML. Uh, again, uh, a great little program, this um, uh, Notepad++. And I'm just going to delete out a lot of the rubbish in here. Just uh, Okay, uh, let me just... I'm going to take out the whole style sheet and everything here. Okay, um... Just bear me there one second. And I'm just going to put the bare minimum on. Okay, let me just get rid of this, all this. Okay, so you can see there, huge strategy, the huge Microsoft. Uh, there, let me just highlight the lot and get rid of it. Okay, and okay, uh, that okay uh, so there's my doc type HTML there's my head there's the title okay um, okay um, there's my body I'm closing body okay so I need to close the head uh, so angle bracket forward slash head um, I need to open a body tag here uh, so body I'll just do a quick check. So now I have uh, HTML opening, closing, head, closing, open and closing, body open and closing. And here I'll just put uh, a h1 tag, h1, and I'll type in uh, my name is, okay, and I'll close off that tag. Okay, and I'm going to save this file. Okay, close or save it, save changes, yes. Again, if I go back to FTP, finish editing the local file, say yes. And I've just uh, uploaded this uh, 
file here. Okay, let's uh, have a look and see if that's uh, again. If I click back on this page and refresh, you can see there's the default page that's coming out. Okay, so again with FTP, now I can deposit up anything I like. Uh, again.